Again, I'm glad to be with you on this session of my presentation. It's my YouTube channel, Dolo S2, my YouTube channel today. Have another problem to solve on the topic area of a square. So we have a question that has been given us to find the area of the square. This is the diagram here, and the question here says a square is cut into three rectangles along with two lamp parallel to a side. As you can see in here, as shown below. If the perimeter of each of the of the three rectangle is 24 centimeter, what is the area of the original square? So this is the area of the square, and as you can see here, there are one, two, three rectangles within this square. So we will be solving from the area of the square using the concept that I already that have been derived, that I have derived where we will use the area of the, the parameter of the right of each of the rectangle which is 24 centimeter find the area of the right of the rectangle then find the total areas of the rectangles then now we can find the areas of the square so stay connected after watching this video kind of subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video comment as well because your comment will help me increase the uh, flavor of this of this presentation and as well as getting to the water order thank you so much let's keep following after solve this video this problem so here's the problem now we are about to solve this problem it's very easy to solve this problem just follow the process as i go through it just follow the concept is very easy so this is the diagram what we are about to do to simplify this question this problem we we are going to read diagram that means to draw this diagram by and be able to simplify it because we have a concept here here it says uh a square is cut into three rectangles along with two lines parallel to a side so let, let us read diagram this is the read diagram here so we so we say re, we read diagram this is square sorry i'm not drawing to scale so in this read diagram what we are about to do is we can now share this 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 indicating this as a parallel line indicating these two that means the line up here is parallel to the line down here and the line here is parallel to the line down here now to make our problem easier because we need to have a variable, a variable that will be common to each of the variables so we are going to use the variable w to represent the width of the rectangle and we're going to use it in our concept to enable us get our entire problem solved very easy so we see double here and double here after we are done with this so now we already got this diagram we have read diagram already so we'll make the problem very simple to understand so we we'll use the variable W here because we'll have the width and it will be easier for the substitute to find the area of the square. So let, let us get a data to simplify something and understand it better. So we we'll say data here, the perimeter we we are given in the problem, each of the perimeter is 24 centimeter. So we already got 24 centimeter. Then now we are going to use another concept. Let's use the letter capital A sumo arrow A arrow to represent the area of a rectangle area of each of the rectangle then we use capital T A arrow to represent the total you are going to be using them total area of a rectangle So now we can say A S to represent the area of a square. So after we are done with this, then now we can go to our solution, which is very easy. So we say solution. Solution. We know the formula of a parameter for a parameter of a rectangle to be. The perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So, since we got 
2 times the length plus 2 times the width or P equal 2L plus 2W. What we're going to do, we're going to find the length in terms of the width because we want everything to be in coherence such that we will have a simple way to solve our problem. But we already know that the perimeter is 20, the perimeter of each of these or of uh, each of this uh, rectangle is 24 centimeters. So in place of P, we put 24 cm must be equal to 2L plus 2W. We are solving our problem now. So we say 24 cm is so 24 equal 2 we further add 2 parenthesis open L plus W is the same as 2 times L 2 L 2 times L 2 W so now we can divide both sides by 2 divide both sides by 2 2 will cancel out 2 2 going to itself 1 time into 24 will be 12 times so it will be 12 centimeter will be equal to L plus W. So we're going to get it before we can go to the next sheet. So this means that uh, 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 12, we can send, because we want to find the length L, we want to find L in terms of W. So we say 12 centimeter minus W must be equal to L. So this is our first equation. So we say equation number one so this is our, our first equation we can we can hold far to this and then go to the next we have done already with uh, uh finding the length in terms of the weight so the next thing we are about to do here now is to find the area of the rectangle so we already say in our data a arrow is equal to the area of the data so we just data as a symbol to help us solve our problem very easy so now we can say a arrow the area of a rectangle is equal to the length time the width so this is the formula for finding the area of a rectangle we see the length time the width so the area of a rectangle now is equal to we find the length to be 12 centimeter minus w so we say parenthesis open 12 centimeter minus w it closes multiplied by the width here minus w it closes multiplied by w so the area of a rectangle must be equal to so we multiply 12 centimeter minus w by the w outside so the w times 12 centimeter will give us 12 w centimeter minus W times W will give you W will give us W square. So this is the equation for the areas of the triangle. So this is equation number two. So we we'll, we'll save this. So now let's get another sheet to complete our problem. So to complete this problem down here. So let's get another sheet. Now to complete this problem. Oh, we, we 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 have already found an equation for the areas of the rectangle and now we're going to find the equation for the areas of the total rectangle like we said the total rectangle this is simple for us so the area of of uh the area of the total rectangle we said must be it, it by the concept we have derived is equal to because there are three different rectangles rectangles in here one two three so we we'll be get equal to three times the area three times the areas of the rectangle so so we say the total area of a rectangle now will be equal to three knowing that the area of the rectangle is equal to twelve double centimeter minus W square so we say 12 W centimeter minus W square it closes so we say we say the, the total area of a rectangle must be equal to we multiply to the bar the expression in this parenthesis here so t times 12 W centimeter t times 12 W centimeter will give us 36 W centimeter so minus 3 times the voice score gave us t 
3 w square so this is the equation for the equation number three equation for the total areas of the rectangles so the rectangles so we are already getting the total areas of the rectangles. so what we are going to do next is to look at this diagram and have a, another reasoning now the area of the square will be equal to the total area of the rectangle of, of each of the rectangles so the next thing we are about to do now is to look at this diagram what we did here first to say the area of the square will be equal to w square from there now we can now say the area of the square will be equal to the total area of the rectangle substitute the equation for the area of the rectangle down here now we can quickly solve our problem so we say the area of the square is equal to w square like the diagram we did up here like the diagram we did up here that's this is why what we did the diagram for now we come to this reasoning we say the area of the square will be equal to w square now finally now we can say therefore the area of a square will be equal to the total area of the rectangle so finally we can say the area of the square is w square must be equal to the total area of the rectangle is 36 w 36 w centimeter minus 3 w square so the next thing we are about to do is to bring 36 w centimeter minus 3 w square behind af, behind after the equal behind the equal sign that means to our left after that let the whole equation be equal to zero then we can easily find uh w the, that that's the weight so now we say w square we call it in left terms so when minus 3 w square come after the equal sign become plus 3 w square when plus 36 centim w centimeter come after the equal sign become minus 36 w centimeter all must be equal to 0 so w square plus 3 w square will give us 4 w square we say minus 36 w centimeter which will be equal to zero which will be equal to zero so we can further have four w because we got four w square minus 36 w centimeter so we say four w parenthesis open w minus 36 divided by four 36 w divided 36 w divided by four w we will have now w centimeter sorry nine centimeter you got w cancel out w nine centimeter that is 36 w centimeter divided by four w we just left b left with nine centimeter closest must be equal to zero so we can now sh share it to say four w must be equal to zero so we divide this about four so the value will just be equal to what? Zero. Zero divided by four, I guess zero. So keep this. On the other hand, we say the value minus the value minus nine centimeter equals zero. So now we can say the value will, will be equal to. Oh, we send this nine centimeter after the equal sign minus nine centimeter, which should just be nine centimeter. So. We are going to consider the positive value. That we are going to consider nine centimeter to represent uh, the value for the weight W. So the next thing we are about to do now is, since we are already found the weight adjust W, we don't really waste our time on finding the length. So we already said, we, we said finally. So now we can finalize it by saying therefore we know that the area of a square, the area of a square is equal to w square so now we can say the area of the square will be equal to the value for w is nine centimeter 
inclusive all square so the area of the square will be equal to now centimeter square will give us 81 centimeter square so uh, this is so this is the area of this is the area of this uh, particular diagram this particular square the square that is divided into three congruent or equal triangle uh, rectangles so these are the three equal rectangles the three triangles uh, rectangles sorry this these are this is the these are the three rectangles and we have found this problem and our answer here is 81 centimeter square so we took our own time we solve it for you to understand it that's why you can see here you see the question uh you go down you will see the entire problem you can take your own time analyze it uh, you see so finally we solve this problem and the area of this the, the original area of this square is 81 centimeter square this question normally appear in a public test like for west africa was this is one of the essay questions that I got from the past. And sometimes you also find similar questions in international, you know, tests when you're writing some international tests and stuff and stuff. So kind of look at it, follow the step by step, follow the steps, and I can assure you you have a success in solving this problem. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh kind of comment on this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh such that I will create I will have more problems solve more mathematical problems uh easier way that will help increase your math strength I will help to make you much stronger in the areas of mathematics thank you so much for following thanks to my subscribers my viewer people are always sharing my video I want to say thank you so very much and have a god blesses day